Hey everybody, my name is Mike Tomorrow, and I want to welcome you to the latest episode of My Life with Asperger's. Today's topic I'm going to be talking about is texting. I know everybody is texting these days on their cell phones and their iPhones and their Blackberries and you name it. Everybody's texting on their cell phones these days. But is texting the way to go? When trying to talk to someone? Is texting the best way of communication? In my opinion, texting is a good form of communication. Because you can you can type out what you need to send. And it can reach to someone without even calling them. No matter if it's within the United States or within Canada or internationally. And it's easier to send a text to someone internationally as well because it's cheaper to do it from the United States. I have friends who are in China and Brazil and United Kingdom and Canada I text to in addition to texting to my friends here in the United States. And I see that texting is cheaper than calling someone internationally. Though there are other ways you can communicate with other people internationally as well. I.e. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, email. But the bad side about texting is as well. Is that someone like me, who's on the autism spectrum, I have to think, I have to take my time and think about what I want to write on a text message. Whereas, if I were to call someone, that would be the same, that would be, that would apply to be the same. Whereas, if I tell someone, it might be easier for me to call them instead of texting them. You know, whereas if you text, then it takes a lot of your time up to try to find the correct letters, the correct words, you know. Well, you could do that while you're calling too, but at the same time, you know, when you try to call someone or text someone, it, it might not be the same, you know. But texting has come a long way than what it did a long time ago. Same as cell phones or mobile phones. You know, and smartphones and you know. I love to text people. I used to love texting people. I don't text so much anymore because I talk to everybody on Facebook or Twitter. You know, I do love texting people still. I think texting people is a good way of going about things. i rather text people than to call them. But the other problem I have is when I do text someone, I might have their phone number in my phone book. And it's like they reply back, who is this? Who are you? Give me a break. It's like, why don't you have my number in your phone book? You know? So that if I do text you, you won't be surprised to know who it is. Or you won't have to ask, who is this? Who are you? You know? Or how did you get my number? You know? Like, give me a break, you know? Like, I used to send out text when I did the 4th of July and Christmas and Thanksgiving, Halloween. I used to do that. Now I don't, because of the fact that people, that most of the people I text, they're probably wondering, who are you, who is this, uh, blah, 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 you know, and that drives me nuts, you know. Back on March of 2013, I cr created a day, which turned into two days, and I wanted to text someone a smile because I wanted to see him smile and feel happy at work. So that's what I did. 
I text him a smile. Next thing I know, I'm texting everybody else a smile, too. You know, even my cousin, who was visiting the doctor that day, she felt happy and she smiled when she saw a smile on a text message. Just a plain old smile. You know? It's like, you know, you should feel happy about getting a text and having a smiley face. Instead of trying to reply of, who's this? Who's this? Who has... You know, it's like, give me a freaking break. Just appreciate that you got a smile. You know, and you should feel happy that you got a smile. You know? And I did do the Texas Smile Day this past March. And it's like more people have been asking, who's this, who's this, who's this, who's this? You know, it drives me nuts. Can't you just simply accept the fact that someone wants to text you a smile? And you should be happy about it? And you should be like, feels happy that you got a smile? Come on now. Instead of trying to text who you are. Or who is this. You know? Give me a break. You know? There is another problem with texting. And this problem keeps growing and growing with the technology, you know? That's called texting while driving. Now, I used to be against all the texting while driving bans. Okay? I used to be able to control the car, drive it, and text at the same time. However, I was trying to call someone on the cell phone, try to get traffic report. Next thing I know, I'm involved in an accident with a car. You know? But back then in Florida, texting while driving was legal. Using a cell phone while driving was legal. I was not texting while driving while doing it. I was using my cell phone to make a call while driving. When I was doing it. You know? And that taught me a very important lesson to put down that cell phone while driving. And I credit the states that do put the cell phone while driving ban to use. You know, because... It is a dangerous thing to use a cell phone while driving. It's a dangerous thing while texting while driving too. People can look down on their screen or look down on that. And they, you know, they don't pay attention to the road. Next thing they know, they rear-ended someone. You know, or kill them. Or they might not see someone crossing the street. You know, it's like, you know, you need to watch where you're going while driving. Using a cell phone while driving is bad. Texting while driving is bad as well. You can get hurt. You can get someone killed. I recommend you do not text while driving. I recommend you not using a cell phone while driving. A month after the accident I was involved with, I posted a video that says cell phones and driving are dangerous. Or in that type of form. Educating the people that using a cell phone while driving is dangerous. And I showed them the pictures of the car. And it's like, if you can't see what damage it can cause you firsthand, you know, then I don't know what you want to do while driving. I do encourage you. If you do have to make a phone call or if you do have to make a text message, pull over to the side of the road and get that done. And I know that some new cars have the technology that they can use a Bluetooth and you can call while doing the radio. So you don't have to worry about picking up a cell phone. And that is a good technology bit right there that you can use the radio. They make that phone call while driving.
instead of trying to pick up a phone and trying to dial it and looking down on the phone instead of looking on the road and you know it's just dangerous out there folks I don't recommend anybody using a cell phone while driving especially texting while driving you don't need to text while driving you need to worry about driving and making sure you make it there alive because I don't want to hear anybody getting killed while texting while driving that is not a good idea and then, in addition, I would like to thank the state of South Carolina for recently passing a ban while texting while driving. You know, I'm, I fought with the state of South Carolina for the past year trying to get a texting while driving ban going. And they finally did pass a texting while driving ban. So I credit them. And these other states that only ban texting while driving for like newer drivers and bus drivers and all that it needs to be for everybody the ban needs to be for everybody Texas is one of those states that has a texting while driving ban but it's only for newer drivers Oklahoma is another state Mississippi is another state um, Montana does not have a ban whatsoever. And I'm also pleased to tell you that starting on July 1st, South Dakota will ban all texting while driving. You know? But anyways, texting can be fun. But, not while doing something dangerous such as driving. It can be dangerous. And I just don't want anybody to get killed for doing that. You know, you can text your friends to smile once in a while. But make sure you're doing it in a safe place. You know, please, I beg you, do it while in a safe place. Don't do it while driving. You know, but yes, please. Thank you.